Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Indeed profile. Really easy and simple guys, once you're logged in, come here at the top right, you'll see your profile icon. And then what you just need to do is come and click on your profile right here, okay? Now under profile, I'll show you right here. So I have my email added, I have my phone number, I have my location. If you want to change this, come click on this arrow right here. And you can come and add your details. If you want your phone number to be showing on Indeed, you can toggle this on. If you want, you know, recruiters to contact you, toggle this on. It's okay. And then you can add your address. You can change your country really easily. Just come and click on change. Choose any country from the drop down menu you like. Choose any state you would like. And you can go ahead and save that. Let me save that. And then here, it is saved. Now, I have a resume added. If you don't know how to do this, really easy and simple. Let me remove this and show you. And if you want to replace the file, you can do that as well. Let me delete this and show you. Come here, click on delete. Okay, now it's deleted. Let me upload a resume. Okay, right here, really easy and simple. Click on upload resume and then choose your CV. Click on open and it will start uploading automatically. And you can also create a resume using LinkedIn. Now, if you want to improve your job matches, what you can do is I'm going to show you what you need to do, but right now it just needs to review your resume. Everything is perfectly fine and you're happy with this. Just come here, click on upload this resume. Resume is in save and we're ready to apply to jobs, okay? Now, if you want to improve your job matches, you need to come here and input things like your qualifications. So just click on this and then choose whatever qualifications you have. So since we have already put in our CV, it has picked up some skills. As you can see right here, this picked up skills, we can add things like our most recent work experience and education. So let me add those right here. Let's say we're an accountant. Okay, we're an accountant at Google, right? We'll put that right there. Google, an accountant, click say. That's our most recent work experience. My education, I was a, had a bachelor's degree and accounting. Okay, add that. We can save that or we can also save and add another. Let's say we also have a master's degree as well. So we can add master's degree in finance, right? You can add that. Click on save. All right, perfect. Now we have accounting and finance added. If you have certifications, you can add that. If you have licenses, maybe you have a CPA. So let's do driver's license. That's a good one. So a driver's license, it will expire in December of 2029 four years or you can do does not expire that's okay click on save and of course you can add other ones as well for example if you want to add a cpa if you are a so let me do cpa and then this one never expires does not expire you can you will always be a cpa the rest of your life right so let me go back right here so these are some of so you can add more work experiences more levels of education licenses if you have any certifications you can add that if you speak a bunch of languages you can add those as well so look i'm here click on a language and i can speak english so i'll put english right here proficiency i am a fluent english speaker save and add another one and then let me add another language for example swahili i'll add swahili i am a fluent swahili speaker come here click on save and of course you can add more languages as well now, these are your qualifications. Go back to your profile. And now you can add job preferences. Okay. For example, what kind of jobs do you prefer? This will help you during your search. So, desired job titles, uh, a data administrator, what I can do, I can change this to accountant. Right. I would like accountant jobs. So, I'll like be an accountant. I'll save that. Or you can add another one as well. It's my desired job title, minimum base pay can do it per hour or per year we'll do it at least forty thousand dollars a year guys okay if you want it this is not shown to employers so that's okay and you can check out more pay periods maybe per month per week per day i'll do it per year save this right here minimum base pay forty thousand dollars accountant and if you want you can do it remote or you can do it full time so i'm open let's say you're open to doing a remote hybrid in person or maybe temporarily doing it remote go ahead and save Okay, now add job types, come here. So what kind of job types are you into? Are you into doing full-time work? Maybe you're busy, 
you only can do part time or you want a contract basis, temporary. So maybe you're looking for an internship. You can come here and choose right here. So these are my desired job types. Come and click on save. And if you want, you can add more things. Maybe work schedule. Maybe you are also working. Maybe let's say pursuing your PhDs and you cannot work, let's say weekends or maybe you have other obligations. You know, you can go ahead and do that. What kind of shifts you would like. And we can go ahead and uh, get rid of that. So these are fine. So you can go ahead and go back. If you want, you can go ahead and check these out. You can add commute times, relocations. That is perfectly fine. So there we go. We have added job preferences. And what you can do is you can go ahead and also hide jobs with certain details. Okay. So what happens here is when you are looking for jobs and you provide some feedbacks about certain jobs that you don't want to see with certain details that it will be showing up right here. They will not be showing you such jobs anymore. And then this is the ready to work section. Okay. So right here, if you toggle this on, you let your employees, uh, your employers, if potential employers know that you're available to start working immediately. You know, some people tend to have things like notice periods they have to give. So if you are available to immediately start working, Maybe you're currently unemployed, you know, due to maybe frictional unemployment. You can go ahead and click on toggle this on, click on save. Really, that is and simple. And that is how you go ahead and set up your Indeed profile.